Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Now, June the 10th. It's important for two main reasons. First one is it's my dad's birthday. So happy birthday, dad, if you're watching. And if you're not, well, happy birthday anyway. Uh, and the second one, it's the national day of Portugal. So it's the, we should be celebrating by drinking Portuguese wines. But which Portuguese wines? A big honking uh, uh, red from the Alentejo? Probably not. A glass of port? Mm, what about some vinho verde? Oh, that sounds more interesting, doesn't it? Something cool, light and fresh to uh, uh, to see in summer. And I just so happen to have a couple of Vigna Verdes in front of me. First one I've got is uh, Quinta de Azevedo uh, Vigna Verde 2011, which is made by Sograp, uh, one of the, well, the mammoth organisation in uh, in Portuguese wines. Uh, but they're uh, a very friendly and very handsome mammoth. Uh, so uh, maybe I'll just dig into it and uh, see how we get on. Now they grow a number of grape varieties in in, in the Vigna Verde region. Um, this one here is made from two of the main ones. Uh, first, uh, I think it's like two thirds Lourero and a third Paderna, and um, probably ones you haven't heard of before. Uh, what they remind me of, and particularly given their uh, proximity to the Atlantic Ocean, they remind me of uh, uh, that, that with their brininess. They remind me a bit of Muscadet. Um, so something where there is uh, they're quite light in alcohol. I think this one's like eleven percent, um, and maybe there's a touch of yeast the apple uh, but there's un uh, this underneath current of minerality uh, and freshness and uh, plummy slight bite that's just what I get here it smells just the sort of wine that you want to sip in the garden uh, on a summer day green apple tangy fresh bring me a plate of prawns with lots of garlic on them um, oily garlicky prawns because uh, it really is like a squeeze of, le of lemon uh, to go with those not the sort of wine I'd sit and drink drink by itself. It's got uh, the it, it certainly has got this this bite of acidity, and I can feel that briny freshness coming through too. But uh, honestly, it, uh, with with, with uh, some slightly oily seafood, that, that would be terrific. I um uh, I, I just wish I had some oily seafood around, but I don't at the moment. Maybe I'll go and get some fish fingers. Very tasty. Let's see whether the next one's tasty. Uh, so this one is a Soiero, Soalero, my Portuguese pronunciation is dreadful, uh, but I know it is Alvarinho, and not Albarinho. It's the same grape variety, but on the, uh, um, on the north side of, uh, of the river, uh, we are in Spain, and it's Albarinho. On the south side, you're in, um, um, in the Vigna Verde region, and in particular, in these, there's a couple of uh, places like Moncao and uh, Meliaco. Uh, so it's a sub-region of Moncao and, and Meliaco. 2011 vintage. Uh, so the first one was 11% alcohol. This is a bit, a bit uh, fuller in body. Not still not uh, huge at 12.5% alcohol, but I'm expecting something quite a bit more aromatic, a bit richer, a bit fuller and fleshy. Let's see whether that pans out. Yes, it is a richer, rounder style. There's still that briny bite, and it still feels like it's going to be fresh and zesty. Uh, you get the green apple and you get the citrus, but you get also more exotic things. Uh, a bit of the pear, maybe, a bit of peach, a bit of uh, chirimoya, custard apple, if you know your uh, South American fruit. Um, but it, there's, uh, there's all still behind, behind both of these, there's this minerally spine that's going to keep them fresh and lively. Oh, that's lovely. Um, it's got it, it's precise. Um, Albarino in Spain can be sometimes verging on the jelly-like. Here, um, there is, the, the, as I say, this spine, a spine of minerality, um, lowish in alcohol for Albarino. Alvarino, and um, yeah, there's this freshness, this life, this zestiness about it. Interesting thing is, is I've had some of these when they're, when they're th th this particular wine, when they're about three or four years old, and um, the, it, it, maybe they've lost a bit of their youthful zip and zest, but the fruit keeps powering through, and uh, they last remarkably well. I'm not saying it's a go and lay down a bottle for ten years or so, but um, don't be afraid if you find vintages that are two or three years old, and uh, do dig into them. But Hey, come June the 10th, uh, maybe I'll take, uh, uh, buy some bottles of these and take them around to my dad and uh, take him a big plate of garlicky prawns, because I know he doesn't like them and I'll get them all for myself. Oh, sorry, Dad, I hope you're not watching this, but um, anyway, the wines were good. Enjoy Portuguese Day, enjoy my dad's birthday, and enjoy Vigna Verde. See you soon. <laughs>